Okay, you'd like to make the move to Lightroom, but you never actually bought Aperture, so you can't make the move from Aperture to Lightroom. But um, this is what you, this is a website. The URL is pretty difficult to get to, but uh, I'll leave it there for a second. You can uh, type it in if you like. It's an Adobe site, and it mentions at the bottom here how to migrate from iPhoto. So let's give that a try. Just opening up iPhoto, and I don't use this program anymore, so I had to make a small iPhoto um, library. With it has three events. For this event, I've made a face tag because in the help file it mentions how that's going to come across into Lightroom. There are some there are some rating structure in here. And uh, in this event, also I can see that my GPS data is inside of inside of iPhoto. This event was shot in RAW. These images are RAW. And I'll make sure I do an edit for one of the RAWs. Make it black and white just so something to see and then for this event I have some I have some tags some keywords typed in I also have some edits this was an auto edit this was a sepia and some saturation just so there's some edits in here and these are JPEGs so I have multiple events with edits done And for any of those images, you can to see where they are on the computer because we'd like to see what's happening with the actual files too. What's going to happen with the originals, what's going to happen with the JPEGs, the edits from the RAWs and the JPEGs when we go from iPhoto to Lightroom. So you can go over here to iPhoto, sorry, uh, File, Reveal and Finder. You can see the modified or the original. So let's look at the modified file for that, that priest's image. You can see that it's in a structure right here. And I'll show that. So here's my pictures folder. Here's the iPhoto library or the photo library. Right click on it, show package contents. And you can see the previews, which are your modified images, are all right here. So here's that, that, that's that priest image I modified, and the masters are all right here. So these are the originals. Un, unedited originals. So there's that, there's the shoe image that has not, does not have a sepia edit done to it. So those are the actual files on the computer. I'm going to close iPhoto. Steps it says here, which is to go to Lightroom. Go to File, Plugin Extras, Import from iPhoto Library. Seems pretty straightforward. File, plugin extras. This is a file, this is a something that will give you some information, but it doesn't actually do anything. Import from iPhoto library. And this isn't a catalog that's super important to me, so I'm fine with it. This is the iPhoto library I want. It's the testing photo library. I want the images. They're gonna, it's going to copy the images, it's not going to move them. I want to copy them to like it to go inside of 
inside of this folder here so I don't confuse my images anywhere else. So I'm sending it into the same folder that I have my folder structure for this this uh, catalog. It says it takes two gigabytes. I have 27 gigabytes free. So for images which have been adjusted in iPhoto, I can import full size previews from the iPhoto library. So I do have some that are there. I can import only applied keywords from iPhoto. So if I have keywords in iPhoto but that are not applied to the pictures, it won't import them. Now do I want to move the photos or not? So I'm going to leave the, the uh, referenced photos and it explains what reference photos are. Sounds good. So I'm going to start the import. So now I should remark on the size of the catalog, of the iPhoto catalog. It was 2.7 gigabytes. It was roughly 150 total images. Okay, it's done. It imported the photos. They've been added to a collection called From My Photo, so that just helps helps me keep track of it. Collection is not a physical location; it's just a pseudo location, and it gives me the same information about the faces. Anytime there was a face, it was tagged, and then I can learn more about Lightroom by hitting F1. Okay, let's see what happened to those edits. So those, the original looks like it's a separate file. And here's the edit. And you can see that it, they've both been tagged. I have the original right here. And I have the edited file right there. And it looks like the photos that were not edited did not get an additional, did not get imported twice. Let's look at the the keywording. So the keywording came through. Priest is priest. Let's look at the folder structure that that uh, Lightroom made when they came in. So these images. Okay, that's odd. It built it built a folder structure that I don't use right now. I just called it year, month, day. That's okay. I can move the images around again. Important thing is is the originals are here. The originals are here. The edits are here. It's taking up twice the room that Lightroom would if you did the edits in Lightroom. But they're all brought over. The rating information is there. I'm sure the map information came across. So the longitude and latitude information came across. Obviously the um, file name was not changed. So that makes sense.
Yeah, that's where the images were taken. Let's see for the edits. I'm assuming this is going to be a... Even though I did sepia to it, it's showing no edits, which makes sense. It's not going to show that I that I did a black and white conversion or or any other kind of editing to these images because they were done in because this this edit was done in iPhoto so it's not going to show up in in Lightroom's develop module as being edited it's just going to show a separate folder separate file and then I think the file structure is going to be pretty simple also it's going to show me that all of these images are in this are in these folders right here so I bet you these two are just sitting right next to each other that's interesting it gave the edited one a name of preview because that was the folder that it came from in iPhoto so it's a pretty workable solution um, the one thing I don't really like is the lack of options for folder structure for coming into Lightroom but other than that, it seems like it's a pretty good, pretty good system.